What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pain because everybody show no pain. And just like you know, I guess uh, what Unlimited Ninja does, um, what they did before, where you know the whole you know projective uh, updates for 2016, like they did, I think you know early early this year. Naruto Online posted um, on the forums, and then you go to the forums, different website. I'm gonna link the website in the um, description, um, so you guys can kind of check it out for yourself. And they have it where the list of updates that we'll be getting, not per se in one go, but they call it, you know, Naruto Online 2.0. So you have new arena, new combo and plunder, new lineup sets, new home system, Kakashi's Handbook, Great Ninja War, and others. But before I get into this, um, um, Scions, if you guys um, heard of him on uh, Scion Storm, he, uh, I guess, covered. I think almost, I think all these, uh, he covered all these updates from the Chinese server. So, as I suggest you guys go check out his channel, those videos, I, got to, I guess, to get his take and I guess more in depth on what it looks like, you know what I'm saying? Because the way how they're going to do, the way how they're going to have it on here is more, you know, just a little snippet, you know what I'm saying? Or what, you know, certain things is. But enough talking, let's go ahead and start off with first the new arena. Now you have it. Uh, new arena. Um, the uh, the arena now includes a new battle system, which also match is matches players for cross server battles. Talents can now be saved for arena only. Therefore, players now have their own selection of talents set for arena only. So you can have it where you can switch it up and be like, okay, I want to, you know, or obviously, I don't know, I'm trying to explain it. it. You know, have you can switch up your talents. Now the arena now has a season mode. Just very similar to uh, Unlimited Ninja with the elite matches season stuff, but we don't get we get season we get we, yeah, we get rewards based on that of where we are in ranks. When a new season starts, you will gain rewards based on the highest rank you achieved in the previous season. Previous season rewards will be issued via an in-game mail. And you guys can see, um, you know, all the way to at least special journey that you'll get. Um, what 15 seal for eggments, 9 or whatever this is, 21 or whatever that is. Uh, number 4, the arena is now divided into two modes, rank battle and training battle. These modes can both be used to complete the given missions and the first win bonus. Uh, training will not influence your rank or rank points. It can be used in test lineups. Rank battle will now use an improved system with other rules for the matching system. Victories or defeats will influence your battle, <clears throat> your rank points, thus your rank. Your arena points will be updated into arena credit once the new version is on and running. Um, every player has, yeah, my bad, every player that reaches 6 Puff Sage rank will get a title and will enter the ranking for the arena. Once you reach a new rank, you would win that rank, rank's reward. Every month, Rank points will be reset and rewards, including ninja fragments, in accordance to your performance during that season. However, players that did not reach six path sage rank would not have their rank points reset. This is in order for the six path sage ranking players to have a chance to obtain more rewards from the last rank. Other players will only receive the lowest rank. Oh my bad, lowest reward when a season ends. The ninja testing function will activate once a player reaches level 55. Choose a ninja of your choice and try it out. Now, I guess to summon the not summon to uh, break all that down, you have two different modes: rank, go in and fight people for real, training. Oh, you want to test out the off uh, uh, lineup formation, see how good it is. Oh, that's not good. Change it up, and you know you still have it where you know you do. Actually, you get more because it shows. That right here, I think like 150, 120. Initially, we only get 100 per, um, I guess, um, task. So that they, I believe, they're going to increase the number on that. Then you can change up your talent for that. Uh, they haven't. There's one thing they haven't mentioned about this, where I think each week you get to use certain ninjas that you that you might not normally have. Where it'd be like at the top, where it's like, oh, I get these three ninjas I can use. And then there you go. But I don't know if they're going to, I don't know if that's going to be included or how they're going to go about doing that. But, and then the ranking, first reward, I 
I think that's the same tab or you know if you know if you're getting Chuni special Joni six pack I think that's that but the season one is its own is you know this tab showing what could be obtained I wonder in these little boxes they might just be like like if I if I did just go off the top of my head and kind of guess it might be like certain like I guess like low level magic hammers maybe some refines you know that type of stuff like where it's like that's why it's like 21 boxes because it's like it might not be good stuff or stuff that you know at your, at a certain level that you need, but you know this is me speculating. Next up, new convoy and plunder. In the new 2.0 version, the group's convoy and plunder were upgraded. The method to escort a uh, es escort and teams using heaven and earth scroll has been changed. Heaven and earth, earth scrolls. Players can now independently do convoy missions and have to complete them within a time limit. During the time for the convoy missions, players can go to their group headquarters and accept missions from the merchant escorter, escort commissioner. In the new convoy missions, a player can choose to complete them in solo mode or in team mode. Missions with different difficulty levels will have different met will by different different rewards. If you are lucky, you might get an SS level mission, complete it, and you will get coupons. Now you can see right there, A rank, escort the object, obje <laughs> escort the object to the land of wind desert. Thirty um contribution, got some coins, the SS coupons, and regular S over ninety seven thousand, still thirty. 30 minutes to refresh. I'm assuming, wait, wait, wait. After confirming accepts, uh, acceptance, a convoy mission, uh, Ninja has 30 minutes to complete it. When ninjas receive convoy missions, they are not able to claim the reward in that day for a plunder mission. Okay, next up. There is a daily limit to how many times you can participate. Oh, I just read that in. I invite your friends. I'm, well, something similar to what that was. Invite your friends to increase your chances of success in the mission. At the same time, the point system has also been improved. Check the intelligent captain to receive commission missions for plunder. During one day, you can only choose to do either convoy or plunder missions. You cannot do both in the same day. Now, you guys can read it if you want to. I'll leave that right there. After success plundering, your character will be under wanted status. Under wanted status, your character name will be color in red. Players level 60 or above can attack wanted ninjas after defeating a wanted ninja. The player will receive a certain amount of coins. If the other player cannot defeat the wanted ninja, the wanted ninja will also receive some coins. After a wanted ninja has been attacked three times or the server time is past five, the ninja will lose its wanted status. A ninja who is back to normal status cannot be under wanted status in the same day. So that's pretty say you know, pretty straightforward where if you was in a certain group in which it's not active, there you go, convoy, buy your stuff, and ain't gotta worry about it. But you know, you got a group that's active, team up, um, work, you know, at least increase your chances of success and you know, and try to get that um S rank. I wonder if it's gonna be based on I guess whoever's leader. So it's like, okay, the person is leader of the team, choose the missions, they might refresh a bunch of times to try to get SS or at least get S SS or A. B, I don't know, I don't know the differentiation of how, what type of coins you get, but you look at S, you get ninety seven thousand, but A, you only get thirty one thousand, so it's a big jump right there. Next up, new lineup sets. Players can now have three sets of same lineups from which they can choose from. You can choose a set by going to Ninja Interface, Team One, Team Two, and Team Three. The second set will be activated once you reach level forty five. As the third set will activate once you reach level 65. In the new version, this preset update allows the player to set their lineup and its talents in a set that you can select anytime. Furthermore, your talent interface has also been updated. On the top left corner, you can now find three preset combinations of talents recommended by us. What do you think? So what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Is it a nice improvement? By setting your lineups and sets, your gameplay will be running smoother and quicker, allowing you to focus more and more on the right strategy to take on the entire battlefield. So you don't have to worry about going in and switching. You can just have this, save it. Second one for certain situations, like, well, I'm going to use this um, 
like set of talents for a certain opponent. Bam, done. So you don't have to, you know, to worry about doing all that. Next up, new home system. Following the version 2.0, oops, my bad. Uh, new functions. The home interface also suffered major changes in its environment and how you in, you interact with it. Player can now walk around their home and you can check on uh, check the map and teleport even if you are in the home interface. The rewards for leveling up your water tree has also been updated. Once your water tree reaches level four, you will be able to earn cave keys, which can also be used in a new function available. So mine's is sitting at level eight, so I'll be getting three keys daily. Well, whenever I guess if they change it, like how many you know, how many I think it's like was it every fifteen? Was it every ten? No, I think it's every fifteen people. Yeah, I think. I forgot. Stupid it died, I forgot. Um, as the, the version is update uploaded, every player can go around walking his home interface. Home interface. <laughs> you will be sure to encounter new function, the hot springs. The hot springs are a place where you can relax. If your stamina is low, come to the hot spring and recover some stamina. When in the hot spring, the speed at which you recover is faster than automatic stamina re recovery time. You will recover one stamina point. For each three minutes in the hot spring, if you have achieved a joint medal, your recovery speed will be even faster. However, once you reach 250 stamina, 400 stamina for ninjas that achieved a joint medal, no matter how much you bathe, you will not recover any more stamina points. A uh, joint medal can bath you get a privilege of quicker. Okay, I thought it would give us a, a number. Uh, with a lot of ninjas, uh, when a lot of ninjas are in the homes. Hot spring. If you give a friend, wait. If you give a friend of yours a message, a massage, you get extra rewards. You can give free massages two times per day. Just rubbing people down. <laughs> okay. Next up, Kakashi's handbook. A new function called Kakashi's handbook was added. The old daily mission interface has been replaced by Kakashi's handbook new interface. Now you can see right there. For one, you can see the it's right they had it right there, daily practice. Then you have it where keep on challenging yourself. It sucks about the challenges do you know Naruto and Plunder or Convoy. The Kakashi's handbook you can find both daily and weekly missions to clear. Once you have cleared them, you will obtain experience, coins, tools, and several, several other rewards. The period for weekly missions is of one week. They start running on Mondays and will finish on Sundays. The deadline for weekly missions will be accordance to server time. If you do not complete the mission on time, you will be unable to claim its rewards. There are two types of weekly missions. The first type will be related to the Sage World Battlefields. And you'll be able to get rewards and large quantity of experience. The other type of weekly missions is related to treasure hunt. Clearing wanted missions, fighting arena, among others. Difficulty will not be high. However, you will need to complete the same mission several times in order to complete it. Plan it in advance so that you can get as many and more rewards as possible. Now they have it right here. Um, participate in um, Nine tails of agent one time, you get five seals. And then when one time in the fight, Mr. Watchy Battlefield, and you get five seals. So right there, you get one seal by doing that. And over 300,000 experience, together 600,000. In the new version, the bounty missions has also been replaced. But the experience you would obtain for bounty will be included in the missions in Kakashi's head handbook interface. Give it a try and give us your opinion. Join forces. Tell the team instant convoyed. Okay, oh yeah, okay. So this is the same ones, but I think the amount has increased for like thousand, fifty thousand, fifty thousand. Yeah, it's, it has increased a lot more. So we'll be you'll be able to level up a lot faster with that. Great Ninja War. Group leaders and seniors can use the whitelist function to freely observe and check members of the group and their strategies. Ninjas who do who did not enter the whitelist cannot observe other ninjas' lineups. The details. 
The Great Ninja War begins in the last 16 rounds. Once a group passes, that's the last 16 in the group. Gets to quadrification, quadri uh, quadri quadrifatory. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> Status to go to the quarterfinals. It is also the, you know, it will also earn the status for the quarterfinals major rewards. Elite um, Hero Legendary Feet Get Pack are the rewards for the last 16 rounds. If you clear it, more rewards will be added to the, the Elite Hero Legendary Feet Get Pack. Each time you clear one of the phases of the rounds of the Great Ninja War, the number of gift packs given to your group will be reduced as you advance through the rounds, but the rewards in each gift pack, gift pack will increase. Uh, the rewards for cheering will be increased after the Great Ninja War starts. The detail on the lineup, lineups in the battlefield will be automatically unlocked. This means that every ninja can check other ninjas' lineup. Last but not least, go to Other. The main character's talent interface has been changed. A, num a new, uh, smaller version of the summons interface was added to it so that it is more convenient. To directly change the summons in. That's pretty cool. And you can see that we do get four columns. You can add another passive, which is yeah, is that was that one right there. Well, they did they actually had a blank, but it's only three passives. It is didn't have didn't choose that. And then you can choose the summon right there. So now we get actually four summons. So just three, so we get extra stats on that. All main characters have new talents. Check the new column of talents in the talents interface. You can now open the talents you want to choose for your main character while a survival trial in the selected talents can be set set for a survival trial only. The ninja interface has now new oh it has now new category listed under attributes. Jinchuri, He, Kekiginkai, among others. A new function was added to the world map. Open the world map and use a flying Raijin Kunai to teleport to a destination of your choice. Note during combo missions, you cannot teleport. A new function was added in which you can now split Magitamas. Uh, right still has been updated with a new difficulty, however, a higher difficulty means better rewards. Final Mission Rashi Challenge has been approved it is not longer required or is no longer required to register before the event starts. When the event starts, you can directly register and enter the event. Benefits for the journey menu also updated. You get five daily free chances to teleport in the world map. Ninjas level 80 or above can one click to finish the daily missions and Kakashi's handbook. And that's really it. So, you know, this is, you know, um, a good little sneak peek on what is to come heading into the new year. There's a lot of other stuff that they haven't added, well, I guess mentioned on this site, but this is just a few things um, that we should be looking forward to. Um, I guess what, I, what I'm, I guess, really looking forward to is, I mean, you got the fourth, you know, our main is getting new talents. That's be really fun. I can you know kind of see what I want to use and mix match certain things. Like Kakashi Handbook, we get more stats on that. Well, we get more experience points and also <clears throat> influence people to do the events so you can get other stuff. Um, other than that, I, I know with the new home system with the hot spring is there is more to that, but again, they mentioned it. Other than that, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now we'll catch you guys later. Deuces.